Johnny Talk Sports with week 16 NFL predictions. Week 15, really strong week. 13 and 2 overall, but you do remember that I did skip the Broncos and Colts pick because really, who wanted to pick that game between two teams on a Thursday night that had no playoff implications? And I'm giving myself the extra win for watching it from start to finish. So 14 and 2. I responded just like I said I was going to. Undefeated when I said I'm going to respond. Take notes. Anyway, let's keep up the hot streak for week 16. Let's start off with the Saturday night games. Well, this one's in the afternoon, kind of, but Indianapolis versus Baltimore. Now, the Ravens, they still have playoff implications. They still have playoff hope. If they win out, they'll be in the playoffs, but they might need a little bit of help. I think if the Ravens win out, I think they should be in the playoffs, because I think, well, never mind, I'll explain it later. But I'm taking the Ravens to win this game right here. I just think that the Colts, they need to just tank at this point. I mean, get Adam Vinatieri his 500000 extra dollars for getting 90% of field goals in a year. Just get him that. I'm taking Baltimore. But Joe Flacco is going to look elite in this game, because the Colts have, in theory the worst pass defense in the league. So, Joe Flacco's going to look elite in this game. Next, I'm, we're going to take we're going to pick the Vikings and the Packers. And it was announced today that Aaron Rodgers is out for the season. They put him on IR. And I'm taking the Vikings because the Packers now know they have no playoff hopes. So, it seems like they're just going to tank. So, I'm taking Minnesota. Detroit and Cincinnati. And I'm taking the Lions. Because the Bengals, they have no playoff hope either. I'm taking Detroit. Miami and Kansas City. Going with Kansas City to lock up that division. Buffalo, New England. I'm taking New England to keep rolling. Cleveland, Chicago. No, I'm literally this close. I believe two weeks ago I said the Browns would upset the Bears on Christmas Eve. But I didn't know this was going to be in Soldier Field. But I'm taking the Bears. I was this close to taking Cleveland. But if Cleveland wins, am I going to be surprised? Not really. Tampa Bay and Carolina, I'm taking the Panthers. The Buccaneers, they might as well tank at this point. But they could play spoiler at any time. They kept it close to Atlanta on Monday Night Football. Next, we've got the Falcons and Saints. Honestly, this should really be the game of the week. I mean, if joint scheduling existed at this point in the year, which joint scheduling doesn't really come into effect until Week 17, but this is going to be the game of the week because a win by the Falcons would clinch them a, a playoff spot. But if not, they'll either have to win in Week 17 against Carolina or, or hope for some help. But I'm going with New Orleans here. Atlanta, they really dodged the bullet when they played on Thursday Night Football two weeks ago. And I'm taking the Saints to win this time because Alvin Kamara is going to be... He's cleared concussion protocol. He's going to be good to go just like he was last week. I'm taking the Saints. Probably to win by at least 10 in this one. Next we have Denver and Washington now. Honestly, I know that I really get hard on... Like, I like I get hard on the matchups that don't really have anything to... Like, have anything to do with the playoffs. But I'm kind of hard on those kind of matchups. But I'm going to take Denver here. I just think that they want to finish strong. And I think Von Miller's kind of hungry for a big game. And I think he's going to get it here. Against a Washington team that switches some that has that have had a lot of offensive line combinations, I believe they're leading the NFL in different offensive lineman combinations. I'm taking Denver, Rams and the Titans. The Titans still have some playoff hopes, but they have to win out and hope for some help. But I'm going with the Rams. I think the Rams are looking. Although I don't know what to get out of the Rams sometimes. Like the Rams, they're kind of inconsistent this year. I mean, a lot of teams are really consistent, but I'm taking the Rams because they can. It's about consistency right now. If the Rams win out, they should be one of the favorites to get to Minnesota. But we will see what happens, though. I'm taking the Rams. Chargers and the Jets. The Chargers saw some playoff hopes, and I think they're going to get the win over the Jets because I think the Jets are going to tank now that Josh McCown's been out for the seat has been out for the year for a couple of weeks now. I'm taking the Chargers. Next, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars and San Francisco 49ers. I'm taking my chances with this kind of pick. When you make bold picks, when you go 14-2 and two in picks, 
You just want to take some chances sometimes. You want to make some daring picks. And here's a daring one. All aboard the Garoppolo train. I'm taking the 49ers over Jacksonville because we don't know if Leonard Fournette's going to play or not. I believe he's questionable right now. But either way, though, I'm taking San Francisco. I just feel like Blake Bortles isn't necessarily... I think Blake Bortles is not the same quarterback on the road than he is at home. So I'm taking San Francisco plus... Plus, Jimmy Garoppolo has been really strong. The 49ers are 3-0 and ever since Jimmy Garoppolo has been the starting quarterback. So I'm liking the 49ers. Show. This is one of the tastiest picks of the week, in my opinion. Now that I say this, Jacksonville's going to win by 45. Why do I do this to myself? Seattle and Dallas. Now this is an elimination game for the playoffs. Because the loser of this game is going to be eliminated from playoff contention. And I'm taking the Cowboys here because we saw how depleted Seattle's defense was against Todd Gurley last week and worst news for Seattle is this week Zeke is back he's going to be big and angry I see the Cowboys just grounding and pounding with Zeke all game long Cowboys by 14 at the very least Giants and Cardinals can I take my chances again I'm taking the Giants this week over the Cardinals because I think the Giants want to finish strong I feel like Eli wants to finish potentially his Giants career on a strong note. So I'm taking New York. Now we're into the Christmas Day games. Let's start with Pittsburgh and Houston. Now, Antonio Brown is out for this game with with a calf injury. But still, it's going to open up in the passing game for Martavis Bryant. Especially Juju Smith-Schuster in particular. That's what I'm keeping my eye on this week. Is Juju Smith-Schuster. To have a big game. Because last time Juju had to fill in for a receiver not playing. 7 receptions, 193 yards, and a touchdown. And I'm taking Pittsburgh. I think Juju's going to have a big game this week. This is Juju's chance to have a big one. I'm taking Pittsburgh. And finally, the Monday Night Football game. Oakland versus Philadelphia. Oakland, they have really slim playoff hopes right now. But I think it comes to an end. I think Philadelphia's going to win this one. Because I just think Philadelphia is benefiting right now from them having better wide receivers for Nick Foles than what he did back in 2013. I just think that's kind of the benefit that's running for Philadelphia, is they have much better wide receivers now than what they did back in the past. Those are my picks this week. I'm For those keeping score at home, I'm taking the Ravens, Vikings, Lions, Chiefs, Patriots, Bears, Panthers, Saints, Broncos, Rams, Chargers, 49ers, tastiest pick of the week. The Cowboys, the New York Giants, the Steelers, and the Eagles all winning this week. Like and subscribe the channel. Share this with your friends and family. I'm going to predict I'm going to go at least 12-4 and four this week. At the very worst, I could probably go 11-5. and five, Depending on how this, how the Denver-Washington shapes up. Because both these teams, are they really going to want to win? And depending on if Leonard Fournette is out or in for the Jaguars against the 49ers. So I'm thinking my record's going to be 12-4 and four at the very worst 11-5. And, and that's going to be pretty solid. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.